Guys, <sighs> sit back, relax, unplug all your devices, and listen to the sound of me and David's voice. I just realized if they unplug all their devices, they can't actually listen to this. Unless oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, keep, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Keep your headphones on and keep your phone on. Don't go on it, though. Put it to your bedside table. Or if you're driving, keep your eyes on the road and please do not fall asleep. <laughs> because you, we don't want anybody to die. <laughs> imagine. Can you imagine, imagine on the news, guys, like, number one? Yeah, all right. at, at the same time. He told me to sit on. back and relax. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> so you fell asleep on the wheel? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. I'd freaking do what I'm told. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, welcome. We uh, Obviously, if you, as you guys can tell, if you are long-term listeners of this podcast, we change change some pretty, pretty, big, uh, pretty big features. Yeah. Uh, we well, now have, the main uh, thing is the name. Yeah, well, the, yeah, the main thing's the name. We changed our little graphic logo also that we that we have, so we changed that. And then we mm-hmm. also ch- put a, a little uh, – I added a little intro in the beginning, so I hope you guys enjoy that. That's going to be kind of like a little main thing. Welcome back. Uh, mm-hmm. But, yeah, all right, here we go. Yeah, unplugged. Yeah. The, unplugged, the, the, that's And the, the reason being is just because for every for whatever reason, Josh, every at the end of every episode, he's just been saying, like, I'm, all right, I'm going to unplug my mic now. So I just kept making fun of him and then – at one point, I was like, "Oh, this is this is a, this would be an actual cool name for the podcast." Yeah, um, right. We're just going with it. Yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, that's where. Yeah, where did I come up with it? I think I just like, I think it was me, you, and Shane, our friend Shane. Like, yeah, did, it was a, back did a couple episodes that. of the podcast with us. <coughs> oh my god! And yeah, it was us and Shane, and we we're sitting down, and I think like I re- I was really hungry. Of course, I always am. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, and well, like literally, Shane and David wouldn't stop talking one episode, and it was like fifty eight minutes long. And I'm like, "All right, guys, I'm leaving. I'm hungry. I'm unplugging my mic." And I think that was the first <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's the first time I've ever done it, and it was it was pretty good. And so I just kept on doing it. And now, and then David texted me. We were like, "You know what? We should make that into the name because we were, we were planning on like Changing we were kind of like anyway. we were like yeah we were kind of planning on like switching the name, but we just weren't sure like what we were gonna call it. I really like, kind of like wanted to like not rebrand the whole podcast, but well, kind of. I mean, we're doing yeah. a lot of things. We're gonna we keep a lot it of, a little like, secretive. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna keep it, it a little well, secretive, but we got a couple hopefully, things. We might, if we can hit it off, like we can start it by the next episode. So, yeah, like, so next episode, action, guys. Also. There might be a there might be a pretty not a, not a big change, but a little add on, a little yeah. addition. Because I, I also so, don't want to hype it up too much. You know, what I mean, I just want to. Like, yeah, I don't want to hype leave it up too much. in the air and just see where it goes. But let's just say Barack Obama's coming on the podcast. <laughs> 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 no, it's, it's Emma like, Watson, dude. It's Can you like, yeah, yeah, and then Emma Watson's the next episode. That would be so crazy. <laughs> and then after that, the cast of Harry Potter. <laughs> just all of them. Oh it's just God. everybody talking at once. So dude, Daniel Radcliffe, what would you think? I just want to have Hedwig on the on the show. Yeah, Hedwig's cool. He, isn't he, isn't he kind of older now? Dude, Hedwig is an owl. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm talking about um, I'm talking about the big guy. That's Hagrid. Oh, Hagrid. <laughs> <laughs> isn't he older now? That's an animal. Yeah, I mean, they're all old. <laughs> and, he's, dude. and if it was alive, then it's probably dead. <laughs> Actually, no. Owl can't owls live really long? I think. I mean, I don't. Or is know. that turtles? I, Tur- I know turtles can live for like. I like how you mix turtles and owls. Like, well, no. Well, make... I'm thinking of an animal that can live a really long time. Yeah, yeah. And turtles Owls live for cool. like hundreds of years. Same with like alligators, right? Alligators live for a long time too. I have, n- I know nothing about alligators. No, no. There's an alligator that was at this event that I went to, and it was like 84 years old or something like that. Damn. Yeah. Isn't that weird that that's actually like lived like four times our li- like our our life? Yeah. Like, just imagine way, everything yeah. you've been through, <sighs> and then way more. times that by four. That's weird yeah, as that. No, way more. Well, you said four, eighty right? something, right? Yeah, two times. Four. No, no, no. It'd be like f- five times, right? If if he's eighty years oh, old. Oh no, you're four. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's a little gosh. bit more than no, four, but like, dude, you know, as... no. The reason why I'm thinking of like the reason why I was I'm not stupid, everybody. Um, <laughs> but I was just like I'm just thinking <laughs> That's like what they all damn, say. <laughs> like no way it's only four times. Like it has to be more than that. But like yeah, yeah we're twenty. But four, t- four times is a lot. Like when you think about four times your whole entire life, yeah, it's a ton. It's as old as older it's than ridiculous. my grandmother. Yeah, it's freaking wicked old. <laughs> my actually, my grandmother turns eighty four this Sunday. So, well, fun fact, happy birthday, there. Everybody, go wish my grandmother happy birthday. Um, anyways, guys, uh, there's some big things. But obviously, we we you know did the whole thing with the podcast as we're kind of rebranding. We changed that, and 
on TikTok today. I uploaded a video this morning. I got up. I got up this morning. I got up late, which I was mad about because I'm trying to do this thing where I get up early and then like go for a jog because I'm trying to do this thing this year where I lose 50 pounds. I, I, I did. I ended you, up going since, for a since jog. Since you literally had that goal, you've started to wake up late. <laughs> like before that, I feel like you. Woke no, up no, no, no. I, I woke up late anyway. I was always waking up late. I just for some reason I freaking sleep in till like 10, 10 30 and it sucks because I hate I hate sleeping in. It's the worst thing. I mean, at least for me. Like, yeah. like I'm not in like. It's like, like it feels if I was good in the when position, you're doing it, but when you get up, yeah. Like, if I was I in like a better life. position, like if I, you know, like I don't know, like if I, I don't know, like, like if I was like more healthier, you know, then I could sleep in. Kind of be like, all right, those days I can sleep in. But like, I want to get to like the point where, like, I can just wake up, like at like seven thirty, eight o'clock, get up. You know, check my like social medias or whatever, see if anybody messaged me or, you know, check how the views are doing and then just go, just go for a walk. And then like we have, we live on like a hill. And so I'm going to, I started to like jog or like run, do like sprints up and down that, which is actually really good. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I'm trying to get to this point. And then I come in and do like my little crunches exercise, stuff like that. Anyways. Yeah. But that's, that's what I'm trying to do. I did it. I did it today. But like the thing is, I did it at, at I did it like at eleven o'clock <laughs> because I got up at freaking ten forty five. I mean, still though, I, honestly, I commend your like determination, I guess, because like I, sometimes I feel like at some points in my life when I've had some sort of goal and I screw up at what like at one point, I kind of just get lazy yeah. as, as a whole, just just kind of like eh. Yeah, well, I know I, so I made a bet with my dad that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I made a bet with my dad that I would that would lose fifty pounds. So like, I'm really determined. I really want to get it done. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much so, it. Well, I'm so basically, trying to what, do that. I'm what, trying to wake up more early. What'd what you say? Um, well, so what, what Josh was getting to is that he uploaded a, a video on TikTok. And I, I think my perspective is so funny because, like, J- Josh calls me out of nowhere in the middle of the day. And he's like, listen, I'm in the middle of class right now. I just got out. Oh, yeah. um, literally, long, long story short, that, that call was, like, half an hour long. So you're like, Dude, outside yeah, of class so for what so happened long. Was, I, I uploaded the video, like, literally right before my class started. I was in class, and I uploaded the video yeah. on TikTok. And it was this skit of uh, me. It was it was my friend Devin, Corey, Jared, and my friend Luke. And we were at the Dunkin' Donuts drive-thru. And we, we it was a skit for my vlog. And it, this was probably, like, ha- like th- this past summer, so, like, six months ago. And we pulled up to McDonald's. We pulled up to McDonald's. We pulled up to Dunkin' Donuts drive-thru. <laughs> And my friend Taylor, nobody knew this on TikTok, obviously, because it's a, it's we apparently I acted very well in it. I should it, go for it, auditions. Honestly, now. everybody in that video, like, if you're dumb enough, everybody you did can a buy great it. job. <laughs> yeah, everybody did a fan. It was crazy. I mean, like, I watched it back and I was like, that's pretty good. Like, we did a pretty no, good job. No, it's pretty convincing. Acting. It is convincing. Yeah, and so basically, like, me and like my friend Taylor like had this like fake argument, and she was swearing at me, and then I'm like, okay, okay, can I just can I speak to your manager, please? And then my friend Devin. Like, he doesn't work there at all, but, like, she gave him, like, the headset so, like, he could talk to us, and he was, like, behind the counter and, by, like, uh, behind the window and stuff. It was so good. And then... Um, it was really funny. And, I was, like, dying. And so, and then that all happened. Then it, like, it, then it blew up. Like, it got, like, I think, like, a thousand well, views. It, yeah. Like, when I checked it. Like, I, I, like, went to go, like, get a drink of water, and I checked it, and it got a thousand views, like, literally 14 minutes after I uploaded it. And I'm like, oh, damn, that's that's pretty nice, you know? Um, cause I would usually get like around like 700 to a thousand, but like and not like, first, like yeah. 14 minutes after I upload. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, okay, that's, that's going pretty well now. Hopefully it can go good. And then I go for lunch at probably like an hour and a half later and it's at like, it's at like, f- like 55,000 views. And so no, I'm like, Oh, well, this is great. Oh well, yeah. Well, when you called me before that, it was two hours in and it was at 20. No, no, I called, no, no. I broke for lunch and I called you. Like right after I ate lunch, and then it j- and it was just hitting sixty. Uh, but no, 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 that w- that was at twenty thousand. Because I, cause I, I remember you when I was at twenty thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I I was it was at twenty thousand, and then on the phone call by the end of it, it was at thirty k. Then you left because even when when you checked the messages, oh, I was yeah, going through the, right. the six yeah, and yeah, seventy, yeah. and I just kept watching it since you were in class, and then afterwards, and then throughout the day, it just kept going up, up. It was literally going yeah, like a hundred, right. after, a few hundred views a second. No, it was after like um. After like I got out of class, it just hit sixty, I think. Yeah, and then, yeah, then like, now also, I think it's at the reason why it's also I think it's a at bigger deal. Now, uh, I'm checking it right now. It is at uh, two hundred seventy thousand. It's at two hundred seventy eight. Yeah, which is kind of ridiculous. Also, your followers, you've officially hit seventeen point two thousand followers, and oh, you hit five hundred and seven thousand uh, likes. 
but Damn, which is crazy. So hard. congrats, you know, you can get celebrated on the podcast. Thank you, David. You the... Live on the podcast, guys. Dude, I hit seventeen K. I, I was kind of in shock the whole entire day with that. Like that, that was nuts. And the reason why it's a big deal because I think you have, don't you have a bigger video? I think you have one or two. I think bigger videos. Yeah, than I that have on one other video. But the reason that's why this was big that. is because of like what it was it's and the me. fact that it's from your YouTube. So it's like yeah. Well, the thing like, is, you know, it's, people it's check bigger it out. because so. it's well. I mean, it's 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 more important to me because it's it's first of all, it's me in the video, and it's yeah. a skit from my vlogs. And obviously, like I'm not trying to like put myself down, but like my vlogs haven't really done that that good. Like I mean, I like I I have fun making them, but like. They'll just get like like exposure wise, it hasn't done good. But like yeah, yeah, like yeah. I haven't like had a vlog that's like blown up yet. So like now, like I put this my like one of these skits, like one of my favorite skits too, like on TikTok, and it blows up like that. It's so freaking cool, dude. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Yeah, it's at two hundred and seventy thousand now. Um, and so sick. I like I think I completely blanked out. What do you think, dude? What do you think? <laughs> I was about to say something, and then I just my brain just got I, I sidetracked myself. No, it's good. Yeah, that. but the only other video that I have that's bigger than that is one that I did with with David Dobrik. Oh, and speaking of David Dobrik, um, he's on the Jimmy Fallon show tonight. Yeah, that, it's that's so freaking crazy. insane. It's I was it's so, so funny because I was talking to him, um, or not talking to him. It's I, I had a conversation with him. No, I, I said hi to him, um, the other night at uh, Saddle Ranch when we when we were there. It was so. It was. It, it's so weird because I like. I just saw him. Yeah. And that, and now he's on the Jimmy Fallon show, which is sick. <laughs> it's it, so it was weird. Cool. I, I mean, I told you that um, I watched like a little clip of it because it's not really out yet. And yeah, he, he was just talking about how like him and Justin Bieber met, and it's such a funny yeah. story. And it's so. It's cool. great like, story. It's so cool to honestly like. He's probably one of the coolest guests I've seen actually on the Tonight Show so far. Like, yeah, when you watch like, the video, he's very like, like comfortable. Like Kevin Hart see. or someone like that. I know. Well, it's so cool because honestly, I'm trying to think probably of all... more than Kevin Hart. It feels natural. Yeah. Like it feels really like when I watched it, it looked it, like he was just it... still doing his YouTube videos. It was really fun to watch. I don't That's know. He was cool. just well, like he's David. Probably, he, he probably nervous. wanted to do like really good just because he wants to be a host. Yeah. You see that picture where Jimmy let him yeah, sit in yeah. the seat? Yeah. That's sick, bro. Dude, imagine if he t- fucking takes over the Tonight Show spot when he's like <laughs> thirty. Day, yeah. Wouldn't that be fucking dude, insane? So fun. Actually, people would actually watch that though, too. I but, think people watch it. He's dude. He's um, great at like talking like to the camera and like with audiences well, and, and stuff. being genuinely funny. Because a lot of Tonight Show yeah, hosts yeah, he's are genuinely kind of, funny. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he, he's he he's really good at like um, manufactured. He's really good. I was watching him do a. We were. It was again. We were at Saddle Ranch. All, every every story that I have with like David now in person <laughs> is all at Saddle Ranch because that's the only time I see him. Um. Or I saw him this one other time, but that was that was like in the like the end of the summer. But uh, uh, what was it? Yeah, we were at Sun Ranch, and he was doing the sketch with uh, with Zane, and Zane like passed out drunk, and the Saddle Ranch guy like wanted to get like his signature for something, and he's like, "Hey, Zane, I need your signature," and like David came over and he was like, "Hey, I I got you, don't worry," and like and he was and he was trying to wake up Zane, and it was unscripted. He like picked up his hand. Like cuffed, like like put the pen in the hand and like tried to do the signature with it, and then and then he like and then the saddle ranch guy like went to go, like for a handshake and then he like morphed a handshake with Zane's hand and like did the handshake. It was a really it was really funny, but yeah, he never put that in his vlog though. I think I took like a video of it, and we put it like on my Snapchat story or something like that. I can't remember, but it was a little while ago. But I I think I remember that, which was it was like really it was really funny. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, it's cool. It's freaking cool. He's on the Tonight Show. I'll have to watch it after. It, it's a, I think it's it's a full like circle moment. Like, I think you've talked to, about David Dobrik on the first episode, and now you're talking about the first episode of Unplugged, the new season. Oh, it. did it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean... Dude, the well, first, like, three yeah. episodes, it was, like, David, strictly, basically, and then it got peppered throughout the rest. It was, well, it's yeah, so well, no. We, we, when did we talk? We, no, well, because we talked about... Because um, that was at the time when you met Rock, Paper, Scissors and, thing. Yeah, and then it just, it, there was a lot of, like, like yeah. you and David News at the time, like you got, yeah, you, got, well, you interacted just because, with Yeah, because we did. I did a rock paper scissors video with with David, and then the next the next week I did a rock paper scissors <laughs> with Jason Nash and Jeff, and that so. and that was really funny. And so and, and then yeah, and then like there was a couple other times where, you know, like I I went over to like David's apartment for like you know some with Dom, and then I uh, just you know just different things, yeah. Yeah, I know, dude. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Every, yeah, my friend. I'm not gonna say his her name, but they told me that I talk about David too much, 
<laughs> and I think I I don't ta- I, I don't talk about them like I fucking am in love with them. Like I love Emma Watson. Like I I want to hang out and possibly have kids with Emma Watson. Maybe oh if she's not. Jesus. Christ. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Every single time you somehow but, manage. But, <laughs> I didn't really mean to say that. I just I didn't know how to complete the <laughs> sentence. No, but anyways, it's not like I'm in like oh. I'm, it's not like I'm in love with the guy. But like he's I just been watching him for so long, and just to see him like be in this position that he's in is so cool. You know, because yeah, I've been watching like up. yeah yeah it's it's so it's so weird. You know that you've been like one and same with the Stranger Things kids. Like I've like yeah, I watched yeah. Stranger Things since it came out, and now that they're like. They're all like older and like doing like Vogue magazine cover shoots and dude, I always you know, find two it weird of them are like in a like, huge dude, band. I feel the same. I mean, speaking of Emma Watson, like Harry Potter, the whole cast, it's so yeah, it's bizarre to me crazy. the fact that they're adults. I, it's it's actually kind of biz- like oh, I, it nuts. makes me it's feel absolutely weird. insane. It makes me feel yeah, weird. I don't understand it. I don't. It, it makes me feel all. dude. The fact that like Justin Bieber is married, like what's going on? What's going on? Like yeah, Justin Bieber's married. Dude, that's freaking crazy. Literally, I don't know. It's just bizarre because I remember like I think I was in middle school. And there was at the time there was like a Justin Bieber had got, remember he was at the time he got arrested for like he got arrested? drag racing yeah or something like that oh he, he God, there was really? a there was a moment in his career when he was kind of like a, a little bit older he was just constant trouble he was doing a lot of like crazy stuff and that's why people like hate him kind of no but way like, yeah and because there was like videos that would leak of him like peeing in buckets and like restaurants or, or like stuff or not restaurants it was like fast food places whatever. It, yeah. it, it was just like a streak of just crazy things. But I remember at the time, like people were so obsessed with him because he was at his peak too. That li- yeah. I remember literally during middle school, like some of the teachers would just talk about it. And it was just like the new, like it was, it was weird. I remember like that was literally the talk of like just a- all the time. It was, and it was just, he was a kid at the time though. And now to look at it and he's just like married. It's just, yeah, I don't, it's, crazy, it's just weird. It? Like I remember seeing him, dude, when he first came out. Like, yeah, no, I, I remember too had, because all the it, girls in my school were like obsessed just, with him. It's just weird. I remember like so there was weird. a point where I was like, "Fuck that guy," because like every girl liked him, and like obviously <laughs> like the kids like that. I, I never know, hated like, him. I, I, but, like, I, I like, remember there, there was like a couple of weeks where I was like, F- "Dude, what's so good about him anyway? It's just, what a fucking loser, baby, <laughs> baby, baby." <laughs> uh, like I like make fun of the song, and then like I think like a month after, I was like. I was like, why am I getting so fucking mad over this? Like, the kid's having, like, a blast. Let him live his dream. Yeah, that, that, that was my mindset on it. Yeah. I was like, then, I, dude, then, honestly, then like, dude, I'm doing. proud of him. Like, Because I remember at the time being like, yo, like, that is insane. What he's doing yeah, is it's insane. Crazy, I don't know what people bro. are hating. And then at the time, I, I don't know why, but I remember the day, the first song that he had that I liked. I remember the day I listened to it. It was literally, what it was, was the song it? Boyfriend. I don't know if you, you know that song. If I was your boyfriend, I'd yeah. never let you go. I, I absolutely love that song. song. I don't care what anybody says. And I remember when song. that song came out, the first time I heard it, I was, I think I was still, yeah, I was in middle school, and it was literally in the morning in on the school bus. Really? <laughs> it just turned on. And I was like, yo, this is sick. And I was like, well, hold on. Yo, this is Justin Bieber. Because it was at the time, that was his like newer album. He sounded a lot older at the time. He was like going with a different style. And I was like, I actually kind of dig this. And then from then, like, I started to kind of like some of his songs, but I still wasn't like oh. that much of a fan. And then yeah. on his last album, um, the album like Purpose, I don't know if you know. Yeah. You, you no, know, with yeah, what do you mean? That. Sorry, like all the hits, basically. Um, that is again, I don't care what anybody says. Like, I generally like like the dude, and like that album is actually kind of one of my favorite albums, like ever, just because what it means to me and some of the songs, kind of. It's just more of a personal reason, but like. Yeah, I no, absolutely I, I love that album. I know, I, like, I'm like that with, so some, with some bands. Like AJR, like I've been with them since the beginning. Like their intro song. Yeah. I mean their intro song. My intro song is like literally the song that that blew them up. And I remember my friend showed me. My friend Dylan showed me the band. Um, like he showed me that song when it was at like maybe when it hit like a million views and it like blew up on YouTube and I was like, Oh, this is sick. I, like I like these guys. These guys are cool. Yeah. And I just never I never stopped listening to them. And now they're. They're massive, <laughs> and it's so cool. It's so crazy. It's it's always yeah, nice it's, to see like nuts. kind of the, the I, I don't it's it, it it's just weird. I, I it, it's it's so dumb because like when you just break it down, it's just called time and grown growing, but yeah. it's like it's just a it's like a weird concept, but it's so cool. Like it's it's I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> like even when you like even when I look like back at my own life, it's just, it's just weird. Like t- I find time genuinely weird. 
Like when you yeah, really dude, think time, about it. Time is freaking crazy, dude. I, I mean, I know it's like, I know it's like, it's like weird. Like, oh man, time is nuts. Like we sound like we're we're high. <laughs> like it is. Like it's freaking. Yeah, we're crazy. on acid. Um. Um. What was it? Uh. My um uh, my friend my friend Jared and his sister Shelby they went to um a con a concert um in Boston and there was probably two hundred people at the concert. It was twenty one mm-hmm. pilots. Oh my god! Isn't that crazy? That's so. It, it was I, an underground concert. That was weird, man. And it was twenty one pilots, and then all of a sudden, a year and a half later, they're, ai 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and now they're huge. It's app. It, oh, they've been the big big for a while now, but like, it's yeah. out, it was crazy. I, like, I would blew say up, though, like, damn, to be honest, like, that's that a band was like, to go see. Yeah, no, I mean, to, to be honest, I think those were like that was like their biggest songs though, because I th- lately they haven't had anything like that as big as that album. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the last song that they had was big. I think it I was. I think it's because keep Bird, in mind their Bird. their style is not pop, but those few songs popped because they were kind of a little poppy, which they were different it, too. when you think about it. Like and, it was and different no, too. And, I don't think anybody's done a song like "Stressed Out" or "Ride." Yeah, and and, the, and well, and the funny thing too is like I feel like a lot of people that are Twenty One Pilot fans don't like tend to actually not like the songs that popped off as much because they feel like it's too poppy and not their style. So it's yeah. just they got like really lucky, but I don't think they're trying like, um, to necessarily. They have a song called you know. like "Gold," like "Gold House" or something. I forget what the hell. Yeah, yeah "Gold," "Gold know. House" or something. I don't. I forget. Anyways, but yeah, but that's. Yeah, no, it, 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 yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, time time is interesting. <laughs> and then, um, speak speaking of music again, I, I don't know if you care about this. I don't I don't think you do, but I, I it's kind of cool. I don't know if you heard of the heard, heard the new Eminem album that just came out. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't have um, Juice, Juice World. World in it? Yeah, it has Juice World, Young Ma, um, wow. uh, Royce to Five Nine. Yeah, just a ton of people, honestly. Um, Ed Sheeran, dude. I love Ed Sheeran's band. in one of them. Him and Ed yeah. Sheeran done a song before, right? They've done like three songs now, I think. Yeah, they've done a couple. Yeah, which I actually I I like I like them together. And dude, he has a song with uh, Anderson Park, which I, I don't know if you know who that is, but that song no. is so good. It's it's like it's like I can't listen to it and not dance honestly. Like it's just yeah. it's got such a sick groove, dude. It's it's I don't, it's it's sick. But That's anyways, sick. the song with Juice World. Eminem just goes off, and I, I, it's, I, I just, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Like, it's not. I don't understand how that guy is human. I, I really wait. Don't. Is it is it sad or does he like go off as in like? No, well, he does one of those like like fast rapping, but it's just it's to an extent that it's just unacceptable. It's just unreasonable. That's it's sick. just un. It's little because he goes on for a while, and and and, hey, and fat, here's the thing. I'm gonna kill you. Lyrics I, <laughs> man, with sonic speed. Yeah, uh, now multiply that by like twenty million times. <laughs> <laughs> literally the thing is too like you know i'm kind of like a hip-hop fan so i listen to a lot of yeah. hip-hop and i do know a few rappers that can rap like that fast really good but it, it's just it's always so impressive when i hear it and what especially when they B go raps? for so long what what about maddie b raps man i don't do i don't know, know. That is? I, no you don't know who maddie b raps is no wait that, well, oh it's, my god it dude, sounds that's familiar, og but I don't know that youtube is. What? It it does sound familiar, but I don't know who that is. No, it was this like little kid on on YouTube. He was like probably ten or eleven, and he he like did covers of like really big songs, and he blew up, and now he's huge. Or he's not. I mean, I don't know if he's huge anymore, but like he got mm-hmm. massive when he was like fourteen I mean, or earlier. I, I, I no might idea. have seen. I don't know. I haven't I haven't heard from him in a while. I'm sure he's still like doing yeah. stuff, but you know. Um. But yeah, yeah no, it's, 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 oh, it's so funny. It's really cool, and I I love the hooks. Like the the hook, for example, on that song, it's called Godzilla, but like with Juice World, like it's a crazy, it's a really like fun hook to listen to. Like it, it's weird that Juice is like I don't know. It sucks because like it? from what I know, like Juice is like like one of his main inspirations were Eminem, and it sucks that he doesn't get to like I don't know like see the song, be alive for, like, come to for life yeah or, to be a like, part of a song with Eminem. It's like it's crazy. Yeah, so, that's rough, dude. Yeah, it's, that's it's crazy. Kinda... Wait, so I don't even, I don't even know. I mean, should we talk about it or is it too sad? What? Or too, <laughs> that's like, fine. Man. What, what is it? Like, how did he die, anyways? Did he die in like an airport? Yeah, he like, I, from what I understand, he overdosed. Yeah, that's uh, that's but because he because he already sucks. was doing a ton of drugs. But I don't. know, There's a lot of like weird conspiracies. Yeah, well, stuff no, like that, I think but... like somebody said like he had a seizure, but he had yeah, a lot yeah. of drugs in his system. Yeah, like something like that. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's. Um... 
but and it sucks. And and speaking of death and people dying, like I mean, there's also Mac Miller, which also released like his new album just got released. Oh really? You didn't hear it? No. Did you even hear the single that came out of you? Like, what? It's no. actually really good. Like, I'm not even a Mac Miller fan to be honest. Like that much. I've not, you know. But that album is actually like I'm, there's dude, a few yeah, songs that are really Mac good. Miller Obviously, they're a lot sadder. They're very like mellow. But I love the songs. Like they they yeah. they do. You know, I don't know. They hit awesome. hard, especially because they're all talking about him. Like it's weird because oh, the whole yeah, album take, feels like he that. wrote it right now and released it, even though he's dead. Like you know, like he yeah, feels like he's be, talking yeah. from the perspective of okay, I'm dead now. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's sick. Like it's it's crazy because it, like I guess he obviously I mean obviously he knew kind of the path he like he was heading. You know what I mean? And he knew he yeah. had a feeling that it was gonna happen. So I like yeah, I, and I so obviously a lot of the music was coming from the perspective of just kind of that and. I don't know. It's crazy. It's so crazy. I, I think it. I mean, as sad as it is, and it, it, in a way, as as much as that sucks, it is. <clears throat> it is really cool what he did. Like, <clears throat> like kind of leaving off. Like he created. Like honestly, with that last album, he basically created, created himself a legacy. Like, like he will. Like, cause the way he like. I like okay. There's there's a lot of rappers or musicians that like have died, but I feel like. They, they kind of um I, I don't know like i feel like whoever were the fans like that listened to them are the only ones that like will still care i guess do you know what i mean like yeah. after the fact but i feel yeah, like with I, mac actually, miller yeah. with this new album like he created himself like this thing that i don't know i don't know how to explain it but it, it's it's really cool i, I would definitely um recommend to listen, listen to them. and Sounds then sick. another album that came out a a few weeks oh my, a week ago or two I, I lost track of time but it was Selena Gomez's album which oh I listened to that I, I, I love, love that Selena album. Gomez love too. that album a lot like oh, a lot Gomez. that's like another like I mean I don't think she's my crush now because Emma Watson is my one and only <laughs> but <laughs> well we talked about it on the last uh, podcast I believe we probably the last did. episode, yeah. yeah well, you, well, you said your first one was Ariana and then it was Emma Watson but my I think my first one well, yeah my first like celebrity crush is Ariana because of because of the show, um, because but, of, um, yeah, because of uh, Victoria. Victoria. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then after it was like Peyton List yeah. on like Jesse, because yeah. I was like freaking thirteen mm-hmm. years old. Um, <laughs> and then what? Who else? Yeah, and then it was. Well, I mean, well, before no, before that, no, it was like Ariana. No, it was. I think it was Selena Gomez and like Ariana, kind of like at the same time. And then it was Peyton List, and then oh, I didn't really player, have yeah. a crush for for a while, <laughs> and then it and then it went over to Emma Watson. I think like this past year. Yeah, no, Emma Watson and, like, Selena are also mine. No, but, yeah. um, well, speaking of, watch this transition, dude, it's crazy. So, Selena, um, so I released the album, loved it. Long story short, she also was on Jimmy Fallon, like, fairly recently. Yeah, I watched it, of course. Cause, and then, you know, did, did you hear about the fact that the song Bad Guy was inspired by the, the theme Eilish. song from Wizards of Waverly no, uh, Place? Oh, yeah, yeah, Billy, yeah, dude, yeah, that's so sick. That's yeah, Billy Eilish, I remember her, watching, her song Bad it came Guy out was inspired the, by... Selena Gomez's um, yeah. her song for Wizards of Waverly Place, the intro, and then they played both of them, and they dude, they sound kind of similar. It, it's so funny too, cause like little, it came out literally like right after we released our episode where you sung it, and like before that, I hadn't heard like I hadn't even heard someone mention Wizards of Waverly Place for so long, and then as until, soon as we mention it, she comes out about like yo, bad guy. Until was inspired G- yeah, by it. Jimmy's like, like yeah, Jimmy freaking Jimmy must have been Jimmy's listening to me secretly, uh, and. <laughs> No, actually, no. Actually, no. Technically, I didn't want to say this, but I'm coming out and saying it. Me and Jimmy Fallon uh, are secretly messaging each other ideas for the show. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, but I have his text right here. He yeah, actually, he yeah. just texted me. He's like, "Hey, um, there goes all great the idea." For he show. said, "He said, hey, great idea playing charades tonight. How did you know that David would be so good at them?" And I, I, I'm going to text him back, being like, I just know, bro. I got you for next time. Text me later. I'm doing my podcast. <laughs> that is an awful made-up conversation. <laughs> I know. That was, that was stupid. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> this, this podcast is just... 
gone down. Bo- the both again. of us, both of us, just took a sigh. Like, are you kidding me? That's how you know that like we don't really have a lot to talk about when both of us are like, ha ha, ha. <laughs> like that. Like well, that's how well, you. We know. had a bunch, but we kind of like zoomed through it. And, and well, the, th- the thing, yeah. is, the, literally b- before we started, Josh was so excited to talk about the TikTok and David Dobrik like getting on Jimmy Fallon that he was just like, "Yo, we have enough to talk about. Let's just, just, just start it. Let's just start." It. Yeah, and, <laughs> and now like I think how many minutes are we in? Now, like fifteen. Look at this. This is why. What? Um, this is why you listen to me next time. You just you don't you sure, don't just. Dude. My friend, my friend just texted me. I mean, I want to tell everybody this. Oh yeah, so uh, yeah, everybody thought like the TikTok was real, um, and everybody is still commenting on that TikTok because apparently it's at like three hundred thousand right now. I think it's at two ninety two, guys. Like literally, literally throughout this podcast, he's going to reach three hundred by the end of this. Yeah, we said like he's gonna Maybe pass three hundred thousand. It's so ridiculous. It's actually yeah. it, it's it's and you're about to hit ten k on the other one. Yeah, I am. This is the worst podcast uh, topic because nobody can really see any of this stuff, right? Um, yeah, sorry, guys. But go on um, TikTok right now and see what the video is at. <laughs> I, dude, I wonder what it's at by Friday. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, guys. This whole oh, podcast let's, is let's just tell everybody our schedule well, too because we we don't know. They don't know it. So, anyways, right. oh yeah, but no. Here's what some of the people. Bef- oh my god, dude! I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just excited. So some of the comments <laughs> people are saying, like my friend, my friend Jared's texting me like. Dude, some of these comments have me dying, and then I just, and I was like, I know some people are shitting on Taylor. She, Taylor is my friend that worked behind the counter, um, and he said my two favorite comments so far are, "Drop shot both of them," and "CEO of cream cheese on the side," <laughs> <laughs> and like, but people like people so like in like so I had like an argument with Taylor, like fake argument with Taylor, and then I was like, P- "Can you please bring on your manager?" And then my friend Devin came on the mic, and I had an argument with him. So that's where the drop shot both of them comes from, and then, and then the CEO of cream cheese on the side. My friend want like my friend Corey said, "Can I just get a bagel toaster with cream cheese on the side?" That's what he said. Um, but there's this new thing on TikTok where people are saying, like CEO of and then like yeah, whatever, and so now like all my comments are like CEO of something or CEO of so- you know something else. I don't know. It's just so funny. Like every like me, Cam, and Joey, we all have comments of like CEO of this. It's so freaking funny. CEO of cream cheese on the oh. side. <laughs> I I I I remember something I actually wanted to mention to you. Have you? Yes, uh, of course. Obviously, you know about Joe Rogan, right? Joe Rogan, of course. Yeah. Um, he had Robert Downey Jr. on recently. Yeah. Have you Have you watched that? I haven't watched it fully. I've watched like twenty five yeah. minutes of it. I've, I've watched like three fourths of the 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 full one. It, it's kind of cool. I I I don't know. Like it's I feel cool. Like I've never it's seen... really cool. Yeah. Well, because because I've never seen Robert Downey Jr. like talk for this long. Like like do you know what no, I mean? So it's no, kind of cool. No, never. Like I I feel like I. Like, I don't know. I got to know his type of personality a little bit more. Yeah. And yeah, he's just such neat. a cool dude. He's such a cool dude. He's, he's, he's like, I want to be like nice. him when, I old, when I'm old. Dude, he is the best. Dude, <laughs> like, he's, he's so... Sick. Like, at this point, like... how old is he? He is, like... Like, he is Tony Stark at this point. Like, I want to know like, how old is he his is. character. I think he's... Because something tells me he's a lot older than he looks. He's 50, I think. I, I literally started typing Tony Stark instead of Robert Downey. You did? You typed in Tony Stark? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Um, uh, yeah, I think he's fifty. I think he's fifty <clears> years old. Is it my correct? Fifty-four. Yeah, fifty-four. Dude. I was gonna say fifty-five, but I didn't want to be mean. But I mean, dude, he doesn't look. <laughs> dude, dude, he doesn't look. He doesn't look he like freaking. He's sick. He looks. Yeah, actually no, he looks cool. incredible. Like, <laughs> I can't. I, I love his outfit too. I don't know. I, I'm. Yeah, this is the most random comment, but I just fashion, I like. Dude. He's clothing, he so. is who like I want to be. Like if I was gonna be an actor, I would love. I would either like want to be like Tom Cruise. Um, or like freaking like do like Mission Impossible movies like that, and like do my own stunt because I don't mind doing stunts. Like they just Mission I just... Impossible though is so like like it's just too much. It is it's like it is so ridiculous to the point where like it, like like it's when like, people okay, watch it, do people really happen. appreciate yeah. it, or is it just kind of like what the fe- what the hell is this? <laughs> like what, dude, what is this no, you I'm just you just gotta watch it as a viewer. You can't watch it as a film like film critic. Yeah, yeah, abs- exactly, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I feel like best. with Robert Downey Jr., I feel I feel like he has a little bit more. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I. I mean, well, it's Iron Man I definitely guess, holds just... a lot more. I feel like than Tom yeah, Cruise's and, character. And the thing Ethan. is, like, I feel like Robert Downey Jr. I mean, again, 
debatable, but, but I, I do just think said Robert Downey Jr. has Robert had Downey more of a Jr. cultural impact. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, superhero. Yeah. He's a superhero. He's like, it, the, it, it, he's, he is the superhero of our, like, of our world. Like yeah. Iron Man. Everybody knows who Iron Man is. And, you know, it's so Iron funny. Man, and then, you know, like, Superman, and Batman, and Spider-Man, and, like, the, you know, and then you have, like, you know, like, and then you have the other people, you know. <laughs> like, that's, like, that's literally what it is. <laughs> what? The other people. Well, yeah, that's... who else do you have? I mean, I Superman's don't... huge. Superman's always been big. Spider-Man's always yeah, been Yeah, I don't massive. like Superman, though. Um, Batman, Batman got really big. Um, I'm, I'm also, I'm not a fan. And then, of and then because of Robert Downey right. Jr., Iron Man got big. Yeah. And then, and then the, you know, the Avenger, you know, Thor is kind of, you know, I mean, obviously so, Thor's I mean, a big character, but he's not as big as Iron Man or even Spider Man, you know, because Spider Man's yeah, been yeah. around for such a long time. There, there is, I mean, you would see Hulk is not big in terms of movies, but he's a very known. Yeah, you know oh yeah, I mean? of course. Like as a character, he's like a classic. But Nick yeah, he doesn't yeah, really no, have any you're right. Hulk, Hulk's anything. a pretty Hulk, Hulk's a pretty, <laughs> pretty huge character. Yeah, it, like his re- movies are really probably not that good. I've never really heard of him having like good comics or books. I, I don't know. Like Hulk is just Hulk. <laughs> he's just that. Yeah. Well, no, and, and same with like the Fantastic funny. Four. Like yeah. nobody, I feel like nobody really knows the characters' names, but everybody knows Fantastic Four. Yeah. You know? Do you know? Van- have you not seen it? Fantastic Four. Yeah. Like the movie, I, I I think I've watched one of the movies, but I know I, when I was younger, I played the video game like a lot. Oh, really? Like growing up, so that's where I mainly know them from. Like, like oh, that's I, funny. I, I used to play it like so much. I had it on my. Do you know what the PSP is? I feel like yeah, most people don't know at this point. Yeah, well, that that's I had it, it on there, a and I used to just play it was PlayStation Portable. That's what yeah. it was, and it was so cool. Like you'd be able to switch yeah, between sick. the characters and play, play with all of them. I always played, uh, and it was so cool. I always played Ben Ten. Yeah, dude, Ben Ten is a whole entire. <laughs> well, I feel like we talked about this too. We talked, we talked about this in the last episode. No, we talked about we... Ben Ten being like one of our favorite TV shows. Yeah, on, like, yeah. Cartoon Network, but the we, video but, game was yeah. a different. Was a, was a different thing. Yeah, Ben I, Ten well, was really I guess so. sick. I I would like play like under my covers at night. Like my mom would like take I, away I had, my phone. I had the PS Two game. For it, and that I, was I really cool. Have, you could play like a spider monkey and stuff. It was like the new Ben Ten like creatures. Yeah, like I, didn't, I, didn't, I was a PlayStation kid. I was an Xbox kid. I think like I got my first yeah, Xbox. Pathetic. I think because my neighbor was like oh, my 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 older neighbor James. He was over one day, and we were we were it was like it was my birthday party or something like that. No, it wasn't my birthday party. It was like it was a it was like a Fourth of July cookout. There you go. It was a Fourth of July cookout. I was turning nine years old i think i was turning nine like that august i was turning nine yeah it was like a it was year fourth of july my neighbor was up <laughs> and i think he mentioned that he got like like the xbox like 360 or something like that because the xbox yeah. was already out like the original mm-hmm. xbox that was already a thing and i played that over his house a few times um but like i never thought like i could get one i don't know why i was just i just never thought of like getting one like i don't like i didn't i didn't wasn't interested in like video games i guess only like when i went yeah. to his house um, well, what did you do like growing up? Like, what was your main like, like hobby? Um, I, guess? I hung out. I played like I played outside all the time. Like I would like we would like we would ride bikes. Like it was like it was the I had like two friends I hung around with like all the time. It was like my friend yeah. Joe and Tyler. I hung around with them all the time. And then eventually, like I started hanging out with like my friend like Dylan a mm. lot. Then it got into like the friend group that I have now. So, oh, so you guys, um, you you guys like literally grew up together from like that early. Yeah, well, my friend Tyler and Joe, I knew them since I was four, because I played t-ball with them. Dang. Yeah, and they knew That's each crazy. other before they were born. <laughs> I'm all the way. So they're yeah, it's it's crazy to think about because I don't I haven't heard. I mean, there's probably is a lot of people out there like this, but a lot of people that I've met, they haven't been friends with like the friends that they are now since they were like little, like since they were. Like, I mean, little I, kids. I have a few. Um, but like obviously since I left the whole entire country that I was in, so like at ten <laughs> I left them. But but like I have met like I I met one of them a few years back when I visited back, um, and okay. then another one moved to California. So like I've I've met her when I went there the yeah. one time. So it's not it's not like it's been complete like it's like you know they're like I've never seen them or I've never talked to them at all. But yeah. they're not like obviously like you know friends. Yeah like, yeah it's like yeah well to, my but, yeah my friend but it sucks because yeah. Go, go, yeah, go ahead, Tyler. Go. Tyler and Joe's parents have like been friends since high school, and then they just kind of grew up together. And then, I, and then they I had wish, kids. Honestly, that was, yeah, been, it, and then their cool. kids, you know, met when they were first born. You know, so, so like weird. they've known each that's other so since weird. they were freaking 
a month old. It's freaking crazy. Yeah. And then That's like so and yeah, bad. then I came into like their friendship when I was like four and then we played on the same T ball team together. And then we hung out all the time. Like I would we would go to like their family parties, we would you know, and then eventually like when we got older, like they we all lived in like kind of the same neighborhood. Like I think like me and Tyler lived like right next to each other, but our our friend Joe lived like down the street, like maybe like a half a mile down the street. So me and Tyler would like ride our bikes down to his house and you know, we yeah. would we would shoot like paintball guns and BB guns in like the backyard or something like that. Yeah, dude, it was the best, dude. It was freaking yeah, but we we were always outside. We never even though we had like Xboxes, like we would play at night, but every time during the day, like it would be like night we would get up at like nine o'clock and I would like call them like on my house phone on like the landline. Uh, cause we didn't have cell phones and then I would be Damn, like, Hey guys, dude. do you want to meet up? Or no, I would call like, I would call their house phone and I'd be like, hi, Tyler's mom is, uh, is, uh, <laughs> is Tyler there? And then he, and she'd be like, oh yeah, Josh, I'll go get him real quick. Hold on, sweetie. Like that. And then Tyler would be like, Josh, I'm like, I'm like, Hey Ty, what's going on? Hey, do you want to ride our bikes down to Joe's house and we can shoot voices. paintball guns at each other? And he's like, yeah. He's a whole wait. Oh, actually, I need to ask my mom. And then like, and it'd be the whole conversation. Like, mom, can I go down? Like, yeah, you have to be home by five. Okay. So, like, all right, Josh, ride your bike. And I ride my bike over to his house, and then we would ride our bikes over to Joe's house. It, so dude, it was the best. It was the best, dude. It was kind of similar <laughs> with me like that too, because because the the place that I lived, it was kind of um like a, it, I've told you about this. It's kind of like a gated community, so it's it's fairly like small. Like it's it's safe and it's fairly small ish. Like you know, it's like it's it's not like. A huge city type of thing you know what I mean? yeah yeah so we we all lived fairly close so like i also when me and my friends would meet like we would just bike to each other and then sometimes yeah. we would have um see this thing doesn't really exist in america as much but there's like act like clubs so kind of like the ymca but it's like huge yeah like an what? actual huge place that's like like i don't know i don't know how to explain it because i've never actually seen it the way it is like here like here it's kind of like a building do you know what i mean Okay. Like there, I, it was I, I, like I get, uh, I get what you're trying to say, though. I don't. Yeah, it was like it was like crazy huge. So we would go there, um, and then like if, if we weren't playing video games like together in my house or whatever, and we also had our PSPs, so sometimes we'd all play together like like outside. But then sometimes yeah. we'd we'd go to that like the club or whatever, and then we play like um, I used to play tennis, soccer, basketball. Nice. I believe it or not, did boxing. <laughs> oh, you really? Yeah. Oh, um, wow. I did a lot of stuff, so we would always just play a bunch of different stuff. But it, it was so much fun because we would oh, like we would always hang out together, and did everything. So it was yeah, so much sick. fun. But yeah, dude, yeah, that's, no, uh, yeah, my, yeah, I got, I got lucky. I got lucky for sure with like the friend group that I, I grew up with. Yeah, I like, well, I, I hate like I'm, I'm thinking about this now. Like, I got pretty lucky with like the friend group that I grew up with, and then like, and then as I got into like high school, um, no, not everybody like steered off. But, mm-hmm. like, everybody, like, started to work and, you know, everybody got jobs. So it was just hard for us to hang out, like, all the time. And I only worked on the weekends. And so I was able to hang out with, like, this other group that I met. Like, my friends like, right. that I have now. Like, uh, you know, like, Emily and, and Jared um, and my friend Corey and Luke and, and, and Molly and Brandon. And I met all of them. And then I started hanging out with, like, all, all of them a lot more. And then they started coming on the vlogs a lot more. And I still hung yeah. out with Tyler and Joe. But I think they just they didn't they weren't on the vlogs as much just because they, they worked a, a ton yeah um and you know and they and they, they both played sports and stuff like that it, yeah it was it was like it was hard for everybody to like hang out hang out all the time but I remember like it might seem like when you go back and like watch my old videos if you're listening to this if you like watch my videos on YouTube if you go back and watch my old videos you can kind of see like not like the care like the characters change i'm just gonna say that but you can see like <laughs> like the friends the char- shift like a little the... bit on who's always around no 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 because i, I mean, still still, friends, I still remained like... friends with everybody yeah, yeah but but i mean like in terms of like but i don't the, yeah like, they the just weren't hang out as more. much yeah 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 but but <clears> um <throat> but yeah that that kind of happened towards the end of high school and then like obviously college um so i got lucky with like all my friends that i could grow up with so i was so fucking happy and you know like all my sports and like football and stuff like that like it was crazy dude I remember, like, I was, like, I was a freshman in high school, and we had this crazy, like, football team, this high school football team. We were, it was, like, the cr- most insane D1, like, athletes in the world. Like, they were ridiculous. And, like, we we played, like, we would we beat every single team. Like, we didn't lose. And we wouldn't give up a touchdown. Like, there was that one point where, dude, I, I'm, like, I just remember, I, I kind of get emotional thinking about this sometimes because it, 
It's it, like we 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 did we Josh broke is like gonna a cry ton on of, the podcast the first time. No, no, no I won't. I won't <laughs> we did we broke a ton of records, um, which was sick. Um, I didn't play. I was just like on the varsity team just because they like needed people to like fill up the sidelines so it looked good, and so I was I was happy about that. Um, <laughs> but I remember just like like it was the ninth game. We were nine and we were nine and zero, and our point to lot our points like ratio. We were, we had we were like two hundred thirty plus touchdowns. No 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 that's not right. No two hundred thirty points to zero, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like we so we got like, you know we probably averaged like forty seven points a game. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I, not fucking nuts. I, I, it was I it was it's pretty insane. Like we aver- it was like it was we averaged like forty seven points a game, in like one like to like one. So like they would you know like they would either get a field goal or or nothing. So just extremely dominant. Like no no they no. wouldn't even get a field goal. They just it couldn't be. Jeez. Um, at the end of the year it was like it was like forty seven to to one ratio because somebody scored on us like one time. But I mean <laughs> that's then, so stupid, you know. dude. That's I would go into that game not even wanting to play it. <laughs> it's it's like... crazy, dude. I remember like I remember there was like this one time where. Um, the other team, we were like sitting on the sidelines and they got really close and they could have kicked a field goal Mm -hmm. and everybody like in the stands was like, like just quiet. Like, like, is this coach really going to like kick a field goal and like break their streak of like not having people score against them? And then the coach like called off the field goal and like didn't kick it. And then he like went for it. They didn't get it. But like the fact that like, that's like respect though. That's like, that's real respect right there. Yeah. Like that's That's like to like to just completely like give up like that you know like because he, he mm-hmm. would have made headlines you know because we yeah. like we literally couldn't fucking lose like it was crazy and so like for that, that coach must to, feel like, cra- that must feel really cool like it, it must yeah it, it felt awesome. freaking awesome and then we went all the way to gillette stadium we played at gillette stadium for the state championship no it's and then we lost <laughs> 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 but then but then we went back the next year and then won <laughs> which is fucking crazy cuz that never happens Jeez. you don't go back to back that's like that's the thing with like with like Tom Brady like there there will never be another Tom Brady there can't i don't care how many people say well statistically Skip to 40 years there's later. not going to be there's not going to be ever the patriots that there was you know, like a couple years ago, they're just it's just not. You know, it's just well, we, we kind of talked similar. It's kind of similar to the. Um, I don't know if this was the last episode or two episodes ago, but like the whole there will never be another Dave Dobrik. Ne- I just feel like there's always just one of Probably something, and there's never gonna be something that's gonna repeat it. It's always gonna have. Yeah, to be yeah, different. I did say that last episode. Yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. Um, but yeah, so no, I mean, there there just can't be. You know, yeah. I just like you know, just too, yeah. But like they said, like. Yeah, I remember. Like, I remember just like winning that game, and it was in, it was literally in slow motion. Cause, dude, it's fucking crazy. Cause how it ended, it was literally like a movie. Like you couldn't write it. You could not write this. Slow and mo. how it ended was, so our quarterback was the grandson of. He was the senior quarterback, and he was the grandson of the of the head coach. And he he was he got hurt like probably. Like the last quarter, he did get hurt, and it was thirty six to thirty two. That was the no, no. I have the no. It was thirty four, thirty two. So they get a field goal, they win. They get a touchdown, they win. They get any points, they they win. And so we're on defense, and there's probably like there's probably like a minute and ten seconds left in the game. My heart is like out of my chest, and. Um, I want to like write a book about this so bad, and I am going to one day. Maybe I don't know. Maybe a movie. Uh, match up a movie. Movie. All right. Anyways, I'm on the sidelines with like everybody else, and he and then he puts the kid. He his name's Kobe. He put Kobe in the the head coach or the defensive coach, and you know they they were talking, and they were like put put him in the game. Like if this is his last play, have him you know not sitting on the sidelines. Have him be. I want him to be out on the field. If he if he's gonna lose. Have him be out in the field losing, you know what I mean? So they put him in, but like I think I don't know, like if I don't know if that's what he was thinking, but like so anyway, so this is what my dad told me. After. I'll tell you what my dad told me after. So he went on the field and he's hurt. He literally can't run, like he's limping. So he limps on the field, and then all of a sudden he's playing corner and he's you know he's you know and all of a sudden the ball snapped and it goes completely slow motion. The ball snapped and 
were like were in the side like <laughs> dude it was fucking insane and then the kid throws the ball and Kobe has like 10 extra feet on the kid and intercepts it that's so cool I mean, dude, it was, like, dude it was dude really it was cool. insane like he's he's like injured Bowl, like... he can't run and he like <laughs> limped back and like got like an extra ten feet on the kid because the kid just wasn't paying attention, and the quarterback overthrew the ball and he intercepted it and landed, like in the end zone. And then like the that game reminds me. Ended. Remember like when the Patriots won like a few years ago with the Super yeah, Bowl? Yeah, Malcolm like, last Butler second, intercepted it. Like it was an interception. Yeah. Yeah, at Malcolm Butler. Yeah, he was the rookie and he came to intercept it. That's like it's on. It just it doesn't happen. Like it's, it was. Cool. Oh, dude, I just remember like when it happened. Like. I remember, like, when that happened, I, I was bombed <clears throat> as out for sure. Because, like, I saw, like, I had, like, a couple friends that were juniors and seniors. And and they, they were starters. Like, they played the game. And I just remember, like, um, like all, seeing all of them just, like, being like, wow. Like, we, fu- we finally fucking did it. Like, we won. Like, thank God. And they were just so happy. And, like, seeing them happy and, like, crying. And then seeing, like, the coaches happy and, like, tearing up. It was just, it was so cool. It was such a cool moment. It was yeah. it, that's like a moment that like I, like I won't ever forget that moment because that like it just you just that doesn't happen. To no, I mean win, like, winning like winning at its sports, especially with like a team, it feels like it feels crazy. Like the adrenaline rush is nuts. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best <clears throat> feeling in the world. It's, like, it's even like my like, tennis matches. Like there was like some tennis <clears throat> matches. Like we didn't like go to states or anything like that. Like we went to districts, but like yeah. we didn't go to states or anything. Um, but like there was a couple like key tennis matches. Like I remember like winning like that like we're really memorable to me like me and my friend mm-hmm. aj we were doubles player we were doubles partners and we played against a private school and they're freaking they're really good and nobody ever won against them like they were just they were the powerhouse of the whole fucking massachusetts and i remember we almost beat them and i remember like we literally were like like on the last point and the kid just hammered it like right at my feet and there's not i can't you can't do anything about that um, but like, I just remember like we lost and I was like, damn, like that was so sick. And I was so pumped. And the kids on the other team were like, were like, that was a good game. Like they were, they were so like, we, we definitely by far played like the hardest out of any other team they played. And I remember like the coach came up to me and was like, you guys, that was like, that was a really, really good game. And, like the coach was like, the, their other coach was proud of us. You know, it was just, it was a cool, it was just a cool do game. You, do you think, cause <clears throat> I remember this, what I saw this like a few years ago. Um, it was like some article talking about like um, football and just kind of like the obviously the risks of it and the fact that like more mm. and more parents are trying to like keep their kids away from playing football because of yeah. the risks of it like the long term risks yeah. and it got me like wondering of like do you think football would last forever do you see a day where football does not exist and then another question to that do you think instead of football being played by real players fake like robotics like robot players like how far i think in the future that there will be a mix eventually but like that's like thousands of years i mean it'll be a lot it's a lot sooner than you think (laughs) you think so you think it'll be sooner like like with hundreds with what thing like like if robots and humans played football I oh, don't, and to, I wait, to answer it, your first question, I like, don't think it'll be gone forever. Yeah, I, I don't think it'll be gone either. But I don't think, like, th- I don't think there will ever be, like, humans playing versus robots. I, that would be ridiculous. That just wouldn't be You don't be think fair. so? I, I'm saying, like, robots versus robots. I think there so will be a you're still watching the that, game, yeah. but it's going to be Dude, just ridiculous. It's going to be on steroids. Imagine that. Imagine huge robots playing football. Or yeah, imagine it'll, just it'll, robots it'll just in general. It would be nuts. But but I do think it would happen. Like if that's gonna happen, it would happen a lot sooner than you think. It's not in thousands of years. When do you think uh, it would happen in like the three thousands? I, I I think sooner. I think sooner. Like what do you think? Yeah. Like next year or something? No 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 no. <laughs> no like I mean I don't know like a, a, a safe bet for me would I'd say like twenty sixty. What? But that's pushing it, I think. I think maybe... 20, I think 2060 is very pushing it, Dave. I'm not going to lie. I don't no, I'm saying think... pushing it like that might be too late. I genuinely think... Oh, you think it's going to be sooner? I, 2060, Ro- I think, is robots pushing it at the other football? end. Yes. Like, if they're going to do that to begin with, yes. Because it, because I don't think you understand how, Wait, like... Do you, do you think robots will even exist? Yeah. What do you mean, robots will exist? Robots already exist. 
Yeah, but like in like the like in like the sense of like people have them in their homes and like helping. Yeah, them yeah. Out with oh stuff. yeah, no, that's gonna be soon soon. No. I mean, technically, yeah, I mean technically we're kind of already there. You just don't know it. Like they're not as obvious oh, as all yeah, robots. Yeah, yeah, with like Amazon But, but Echo. like they already exist. Have you, dude? Wait, did, did, have you ever seen the Boston Dynamics like robots? Yeah. Like those yeah, are real crazy. things, and those are actually now out like for sale for companies. Really? Yeah, and they're they're insane. They're, they're they're absolutely crazy, crazy. Not including the AI and like that that is constantly improving. Like it is, I, I'm I'm I, you'd be shocked at actually how Dude, soon this I, is going to be. I just want to like, I want like, do you know like how Tony Stark or like in like the movie oh, yeah. he has like Jarvis? I want yeah. that to be a thing. Yeah. I want to wait or like the movie Her. Like I don't want to be like Phoenix, Joaquin Phoenix in the movie because that'd be that'd suck. <laughs> but like. If nobody's seen that movie, he basically falls in love with like the like the AI, and they have like sex, like weird sex things. Anyways, <laughs> weird um, sex things. Have you seen the movie? <laughs> no, I'm not. Watched. I've heard a lot about it, but I've not. It's, watched it, it, dude. It's such a good movie. <clears throat> it, it is a really good movie. The storyline is fucking phenomenal. It's a really good movie, and, and Joaquin Phoenix is a phenomenal actor. Anyways, um, no, I don't want to end up like in falling in love with the robot. But oh, I forgot what I was gonna talk about. Tony Stark. Oh yeah, no, I want there to be a driver so bad. Like, imagine just, like, waking up in the morning and, like, it can, like, kind of tell, like, when you're up. Or you can, like, just – or maybe not tell when you're up because that would be kind of creepy. But you, like, press a button, like, on your phone saying, yeah, like, I'm up. You do realize that's a like, thing already. No, you can't. I have that. Like, <laughs> What are you talking about? Dude, have you heard of Google? No, no. No, I'm saying, like, if you press, like, something, like, on your phone or something like that, or, like, you put it on your watch or, like, your Apple Watch or something like that. Yeah, but, you... like, you don't even need to press. You can just say, good morning, or I'm up. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Like, how, like, yeah, like, my <laughs> friend, my friend uh, I, from back home, they live in this, they live in a smart house. So, like, when they go yeah. in, they can say to the house, like, hey, can you turn on the living room TV and to channel 768 or something like that, and then it'll go to that. Like, it yeah. won't talk no. back, but it'll go to that. Yeah, I mean, which, my, which is my ridiculous. House, that's, I mean, that's, like, that's, that's my dream, too. Like, I want to have a smart house. Like, that's, that's like, it, when I have a that's house and I, I have money, like, I want a modern house with, like, like a smart house. But, like, the funny thing is my house is obviously not, like, a smart house. But I tr- I'm trying now as much as I can to make my room, like, a smart room. Which, oh, really? Like, it kind of works. Like, I have that with the lights. So I can just turn it off and on with my voice and change the colors. Which no, is so nice because when I'm in, my, right in my bed, I don't have to freaking get up, which is the best thing. Wait, I can, can be you like, do it right now? I, okay. Hey, Google, lights off. It didn't oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it did I, it. Yeah, and I could just say, like, lights out or whatever. Hey, Google, lights on. Oh, or I could just say, so dim cool. the lights. Yeah, dude, I forgot. I keep forgetting that's a thing. See? Brighten Dude, the lights, hundred percent. Sick. I have. I've never seen it like in. And person. that can change the colors and everything. And that's not that. That's not just it. Like th- that's just lights. <laughs> We're not talking about. That's just else. lights. Yeah. Yeah. But like, but I it, want it to get to a point where you you can get up and be like, hey, like I, I'm just gonna say, Jarvis. Like, hey, Jarvis. Um, uh, can you? I have a meeting for three o'clock. Can you cancel that and change it and can postpone it to seven thirty tomorrow? Yep. You also, can, can you put the waffles in the microwave? <laughs> well, you can do that. Except the waffles part. <laughs> like I yes. do, I've done that. I've done that with like, <clears throat> like a reminder and stuff. Like recently, and like I don't know, you can just I know, do dude, that. I keep forgetting. And it's how cool because like because it's cool is, too. Dude. Like when like you can program it where it's like when you get when like for example when I say, well I'm not gonna say it so it doesn't activate it. But when I say hey you know hey G, <laughs> um, let's say like oh good morning or I'm up or whatever. Yeah. I have like certain actions that it will do that I want it to do. So like sometimes it's like oh uh, whatever good morning and then it'll Dude, do a I bunch of different get things and then put on certain <laughs> music sick. for me. Do you know what I mean? How, wait, how or like for it? example like when I'm back home I'd be like hey I'm back and then it'll play like music ba- like it'll welcome me whatever it'll give me like whatever any orders of I have it do when I say I'm back and then I'll have like music that I like listen to like kind of turn on in my room because I don't know just give me energy and just, like hey I'm back yeah dude that's um, what I want like like play a song and then it's like. And it just plays a song. It, you know, yeah. everything's going to be a breeze in the end of no doubt. You'll find it. <laughs> man, it starts yeah. playing in the morning. Yeah. That's funny. No, that, that's literally, I, I have that, like, it's it's so cool. I love it. I, I, I absolutely Damn, love it. I can't believe technology is, um, fucking, it's coming no, way and, too dude, far, dude. And I, there's a lot crazier crazy. than this. Like, there's a lot crazier. And especially because I know a bunch of, like, tech stuff. Like, 
you have no idea how much stuff that actually already exists that you just don't know about. It's nuts. It's actually stupid. It's it's right. like you'd be you'd be scared of anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's crazy, but it's exciting. I, I'm excited. Um. Let's see. But all right. But well, yeah. Dave, what what time are we at for the podcast? I can't so see. It's we're we're about to hit the actual an hour mark. Oh, um, so I think yeah, I think this we're is gonna be the longest episode. But hey, it's the first one, you know. I, yeah. But before we go, want to congratulate you. You hit three hundred and twenty thousand views, because oh I God. said you were gonna hit three hundred k by the end of the, <laughs> the the episode. You hit three twenty, which is nuts. Um, Damn. So yeah, congrats. Um, and yeah, this is this was the first episode of Unplugged. Am I at fifteen? And, well, am, I, am I at eighteen k yet? Where am I at? Uh, you are at seventeen point seven. Oh my god, dude! I'm gonna and you have five hundred and seventeen likes, thousand wow. likes. That's fucking cool, bro. I'm it's so crazy, happy. Is what it is. And also What's at eleven point five k on the newer video. The other video, nice. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, right. so yeah, it's crazy. And yeah, so this was the first episode. All right, guys. Like we said, like we said in the beginning, like there's there's a few things that we're planning on doing. Hopefully, we can get it done in time. Yep. Um, and I think we're, we're gonna try to focus more on the podcast and try to like improve it as much as we can. Yeah, um, we got some things coming up next week. We'll be we'll be adding something. It's a surprise, but we'll be adding something. Yeah, and then um, yeah, and then hopefully also um, stay tuned. Well, wa- go watch uh, Josh's TikTok <laughs> if you haven't. Um, yeah, yeah, go watch my TikTok and check out his YouTube channel and his yeah, all Josh his media. Van Insta- Just Instagram. type in Josh Van and it should come up. Josh, yeah, and then like Van, like the like the pedophile Van V A N. Jesus Christ! Why? <laughs> Why? All right, guys. So um, I'm gonna leave it off with pedophile Van. Good night. Yeah, I'm unplugging my mic. And <laughs> but before Josh unplugs his mic, I I also I'm gonna try something else. It's probably already started, but I kind of want to try out also playing music like that i would have made so in case you want to check it out but then at the same oh, time yeah. Might as well oh yeah oh my gosh dude, i'm so sorry like yeah guys it. go check out yeah. david's uh music on spotify it's t-a-k-l-a Talk yeah about. and um and uh yeah and stay tuned because i'm working on another project hopefully it'll come out fairly soon i'm pretty excited oh, yeah. about it um we're making but, big moves baby we're making yeah. money moves no money Next episode, but we'll have moves. Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna go make a shepherd's pie Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm plugging back. I'm unplugging mine.